I think this is it. Yeah. So when we go in, Heather, you can just introduce yourself as the new intern. Oh. see you guys in a while yeah it's been a few years does everybody still live here oh yeah everybody lives here just not Elise she moved out actually the day after she murdered doorman so yeah she's not with us anymore but do you guys want to come in I can call everyone down yeah sure this is Heather actually our intern also. oh hi Heather yeah. hi. Nice, to meet you. nice to meet you all right come on in So first things first, it's great to see you all again, but has anybody heard from Elise? I have not heard from her in a long time. Honestly, Ben, Elise kind of burned that bridge and she murdered Doorman. Ah. Well, has anything happened since Doorman returned? Doorman's returned? Yeah, I captured it all on camera and I emailed it to Michael. Michael? Why don't you support us the email? I don't remember you. Michael, you responded to the email. You told us to give you all space to grieve. There were a lot of emails, and they were all painful, so I asked for some space. Michael, have you seen Doorman? Of course not. So has Doorman returned? This is me. I gotta see that video. Yeah, we gotta see it. <gasps> She's alive? Whoa. Wait, wait, stop, go back. There, do you see the eyebrows? Yeah. You really should have included me on that email. Come on, we gotta go. What's going on, Jason? Why are you so concerned? Have you ever heard of the Stopocalypse theory? No. I didn't think so. Let me get a book. All right, let's, let's see. Researchers have suggested that under certain circumstances, Doorman could create a very dangerous situation. If Doorman is mistreated by humanity, like, for example, the way Elise mistreated our Doorman, Doorman could turn vengeful and seek revenge against humanity itself. Historically speaking, Doorman has either been murdered tragically by simpletons or lived a peaceful life. Our Doorman was brutally murdered and came back. We theorized that this was a possibility, but we knew that if it happened, Doorman would need considerable counseling. We have no idea the powers that Doorman could obtain given the space to grow and modern technology. What kind of powers are you worried about? Did she learn to move from door to door? Could she go stronger? Did she find a way to multiply? I would give anything to see Doorman procreate, but it could lead to a ruthless civilization under these circumstances. I'm shocked that our Doorman was already strong enough to resurrect herself. I'm relieved nothing's happened to Elise yet. Perhaps Doorman's chose forgiveness. But those eyebrows, I've never seen that before. If Doorman chooses revenge and given the space and time to develop, it could be disastrous. Hey, Michael, do you have a second to talk to us? 
Yes. Can you share Jason's concerns about Doorman returning? No. Doorman's killed. It's ridiculous. Jason's wild. He doesn't know her like I did. Has he told you about his Dorpocalypse theory yet? No, but the Dorpocalypse happened when Elise ripped her face off. I don't know what Jason wants, but I don't know. He's wrong. Have you forgiven Elise yet? I'm trying to work through it. Do you, do you know where she is? It'd be easier in person. Well, actually, yes, I do have that information. I can email it to you. Thank you. So, are you done here? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Michael. Welcome back. There's breaking news out of the Wellington apartment complex. We go to Trevor now for more details. Thank you, Mallory. A woman named Elise was found dead at the Wellington apartment complex just under an hour ago. We are being told by police that the cause of death was blunt force head trauma and that further leads are being investigated. We'll be back to you with an update as soon as we know more. Back to you. Thank you, Trevor. Stay safe out there, everyone. And now to Don Donaldson with your weather. This is terrible. I can't believe she's murdered. I believe it. This is exactly what I warned you of. We're lucky the news was on. Okay, but Jason, be sensitive when we get there. Elise was just murdered. Yeah, and don't touch anything. Just let the police do their job. I'll do what needs to be done. The police need to know what they're getting into. I'm the only qualified expert that can help them. Looks like the door to this case is wide open. Couldn't agree more. What are you doing here? This is an active crime scene. You shouldn't be here. I know who did it. Give us a second. Don't touch anything. Mm -hmm. All right. Who did it? Right next to you. What? The door! The door. The door killed Elise. Two years ago, a case of door face raping occurred in an apartment that I was living in with Elise. The only reason doorman wasn't immediately put under my care is because my roommate that uh, This guy's wasting our time. Come on, man, this is a... Uh, you sound a little crazy. It's hard to explain. I get it. You guys are a little bit behind on this whole case. Maybe, uh, what is that even supposed to mean? Maybe uh, a little no. bit slow. Okay. Uh, okay. But, how, no, no, no. However, a case of door face ripening occurred in my apartment two years ago with your victim, Elise. I'm just you gotta I'm giving you the signs. That's a whole load of door shit. You need to get out of here before my partner pulls a gun on you. Get on. Get on. You need to listen to me. Oh, more cases. No, we got work to do here. You ain't part of it. Come on. Get out of here. Doors don't shit. I'm telling you guys. Nerds. I can't believe you planted a secret camera in their apartment. You know this is illegal, Coffee. right? Coffee call. It also happened. Well, we were just laying in the bedroom and we heard a loud bang and then a thud from over in Elise's bedroom. So we naturally aimed to see what happened. And when we came out, we saw her body right there. And we saw that she wasn't breathing, so we had to call 911. Doorman definitely murdered her. Did you see anything suspicious? Door open? Anybody walking in and out? Anybody? Anything? No, nothing suspicious. I mean, 
we saw Elise's body. Um, the only thing I could think it must have been a ghost or something. Hmm. She was terrifying. Do you think she was murdered? At this point, we think it was natural causes, but we're not ruling anything out. In the meantime, we'll get a patrol outside for you guys to keep you safe until we know more. Thank you. It is suspicious dying of head trauma, and you guys are the only ones here. Natural causes doesn't really cause that. Are you accusing us of murdering her? No one's accusing anyone of anything, but nine times out of ten, the simple explanation is the right explanation. We're not talking anymore until we talk to our lawyers. Hmm. This is bad. I need to do more experiments. I'm not comfortable with this. Okay, just wait downstairs. We'll leave soon. on my shoulder and tell me song When I cry Do you hear in color or black and white bird The morning is new but the feeling is old Intervene blackboard in a short in the road Blackboard The way I imagined love was wrong I've come To love them like I caught in fathom blackboard But I tap away and I fear and I long Intervene blackboard and a short in the road into my slumber and show me some When I dream Do you see in color or it all bored? The picture is peaceful but I dream alone Intervene Is here. Detective Joe. You guys need to go to Elisa's house. Her roommates were just murdered. What? Don't follow him. We need to talk about this. Heather, follow Jason. Uh, 
Hello, sir. Detective Joe, here investigating a murder. May I come in? Sure. I'm here to see uh, Jason. Is he here? I'll go get him. Very nice. Thank you, sir. Jason, what happened back there? It's bad. We might be doomed. What? What are you talking about? She killed them. She killed Elisa's roommates. I didn't think it would get this bad, but... She may have chosen vengeance, not on just Elise, but on humanity. What? Someone died? Jason, we need to go back to the house. Ben and Yasmin didn't answer their phones, but I'm sure the police are going to want to talk to you. I can't let the police find me. I'm our only hope against Doorman. I need to do more experiments, but we don't have much time. What are you doing? Brain enlightenment therapy. Wow, I never thought you'd be into that spiritual stuff. Brain enlightenment therapy is a clinically proven psychotherapy. It is clinical, not spiritual. What's going on? Hey, just just leave us alone. Oh, sorry. I want to talk something out. I have some beers up at my place. Yeah? Yeah, let's go talk it out. Something's on your mind. I could use a beer. Let's do it. Is this yours? Yeah. What is this stuff? You don't want to know. Oh boy. I'm in for a wild ride. Can you drop my boy for me? So media guys, huh? Yeah, we usually don't talk to the to the subjects. Well, you're the only ones here, and I'm waiting, so I guess we're talking, huh? Yeah. Y'all know anything about this uh, murder thing going on here? All these cameras, I figured you see something, right? What was that? Hmm. Um, investigator, I think there's something you should know. Who was that? Oh, God. What was that? What was that? <laughs> Coming from the closet. <laughs> what do we have here? What happened? I don't know. He was fine a minute ago. I just found him like this. <laughs> the door! Get out! Guys, get out! The door! Go, go, go!
I do? The window. I am not dying today. So there's a door with a face on it, and then you guys are calling it Doorman? Not exactly. Doorman is of a highly intelligent species that has been looked down upon by humankind for many, many centuries, potentially millennia. We don't really know. Mm. It's, uh, it's a tragic, tragic occurrences that have happened in the past. Thank you, Tom. Oh. As you may have heard, another six people died today. Preliminary reports suggest six? they have been murdered. We will release more information as soon as we have it. For now, we ask that, that you remain diligent and safe. Please call the number on the screen if you see either of these two people. Do not approach them if you see them. We will keep you posted on, on any new developments in this tragic case. I didn't do it. You know, it was doorman. I mean, I believe you. I've been here for hours. You told me the whole story. I believe you. I appreciate that. So you're with me? I guess so. Heather? Um, I think you should turn yourself in. That's not gonna happen. You can't. We're too far in. Uh, I think we need to leave now. Oh, shit! That's Thorman! Hey, you! Uh, 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 Samantha! Come on! My name's Bailey! Let's go Whatever! Somewhere. Let's go! This is a big deal! Go, 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 go! go. Remy, come on! Come on! Oh, you're in the behind! Forget you! All the tired horses in the sun how am I supposed to get any riding done?
Mm-hmm. I was supposed to get any writing.